Hi guys, so today I'm going to do the Darkling tag. It's been on YouTube for a couple of years I think, but I thought I'd get involved and just let you guys get to know me a little bit better. So, question one is, what is your favourite candle scent? Mine is probably sandalwood and jasmine. It's just a really good smell. So... That's probably my favourite. Yeah. Um, question two. Do you have a favourite book? I do. I don't actually read that much. But from what I have read, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein is my favourite book. I've always loved the book and the film and the story. I actually got to play Elizabeth in the, in the play that I did at college. Um, so that was really good fun. Question three. Are you a tea or coffee person? I actually... I like tea, but I actually don't drink it that much. Um, I'm more of a fizzy drinker. <laughs> Number four. What is your favourite brand and colour of lipstick? So, I've had a couple of Kat Von D lipsticks and I just don't get on with them. And people probably would go for the expensive brands, but my favourite is a liquid lipstick by Barry M, which is just a cheaper drugstore brand. It's like £5, I think, altogether for the the lipstick and lip liner. Uh, my favourite colours are probably Barely There, which is a really light nude, and Threek Show, which is black. What is your favourite perfume? Hmm. My favourite perfume is probably <clears throat> Little Black Dress. Um, you can only purchase that from Avon. It's just got a really sweet smell. Uh, if it's not that, then it's prob probably Meow by Katy Perry. Comes in like a kitty bottle. It's absolutely adorable. Like, I think I only buy it for the bottle, to be honest. If you had to give up the colour black, what colour would you choose instead? I'd probably go for grey. And that's not only, that's not because it's closer to black, but I always wore grey at one point, like I used to have like grey jumpers and yeah I'd probably grey because I don't think colour suits me to be honest. 8. If you could change your name to a stereotypical 90s to 2000s goffy name what would it be? Lilith. <laughs> don't know why, I just think that's a cool name. So Lilith, yeah. What are your top three tips for surviving hot weather? Um, I actually just deal with it. Like, if I want to wear a black jumper, I'll wear it. And so many people have a go at me for it. And I might suffer a little bit. But if not, just wear really thin black vest tops maybe. And like black lace, kind of like... Like this sort of mesh. Um, that will always work. But other than that, I actually don't know. Number 14. If you could be a supernatural creature, what would it be and why? I think I would be... A mermaid or a witch. Um, mermaids because I love the water but I don't love deep deep water so maybe that would help me overcome my fear of being able to swim in it and breathe um, and a witch because they're cool like just putting spells on people whenever you wanted to and hexes um, yeah so it'd be a mermaid or a witch do you feel confident or comfortable interacting with other goths or gothy people online or in real life? Why or why not? 
Um, I think I'd be more comfortable interacting with other goths in real life. Um, because I've been on groups and other media platforms. And I've not always had the best experience with other goths online. Um, either you get quite judgmental goths, I think, which I think sad really because goths go through much, through so much judgment. Um, you'd think that they'd support one another a bit more, but that just doesn't seem to happen online. Um, maybe I'm just in the wrong sort of groups or talking to the wrong sort of people. Um, I haven't really seen it from where I'm from. It's normally people that are in other countries. Um, so I definitely think that I'd feel more confident with speaking face to face with people than over the internet. Which is more important for a look? Great hair or great makeup? Probably hair because I normally will do my hair no matter what. Like if I'm in a rush for work and I have to choose between makeup and hair, I'll do my hair. So my hair. Number 18. Is there something you wish there was more of in your subculture? More people. Like in where, where I live, it's like non-existent. Like, I never, I don't, I haven't seen another goth or even metalheads or just alternative people in general. I don't see them and maybe it's just the town that I live in and it sucks. It really sucks. Care to share an embarrassing story related to your darkliness? Hmm. The only thing I can think of, which I know goths would probably find embarrassing, is when I first got into goth, I listened to Marilyn Manson, and I'm not going to lie, I still do. I think he's a really smart guy, and... No matter what people say about him, he knows what he's doing and he does it well. And I like him for that and I like his music. And I like alternative music as well, not just goth music. Um, but Marilyn Manson is probably what got me into goth. Like, I began with the style and then found the music. And... Here I am now, so thank you, Marilyn Manson. <laughs> How are you at DIY? I'm pretty good at DIY. That shelf behind me right now, me and my husband built. It took ages, but we got there in the end. Yeah, looks pretty cool. Um, and I have also uploaded a DIY of a coffin shelf we built together. So head over to my channel if you want to see that. The last bit of this Darkling tag is confessional, a.k.a. true or false. I love watching cheesy romance films. False. I'm not into romance that much. Or like romantic films, should I say. I sleep with plushies. Hey, Robbie. Um, sometimes, maybe. <laughs> So that's true. I wear non-black pyjamas most nights. True, but I don't wear pyjamas. I still listen to a boy band that has disbanded years ago. True. I don't like vampires. False. I do like vampires. Um, my favourite vampire films are Dracula and 
Interview with the Vampire. I absolutely love that film. Brad Pitt. Not Brad Pitt. No, I'm completely wrong. Tom Cruise. Oh my god. Um, and Queen of the Damned. I love that film as well. True. I'm dating a goth, darkly inclined person. True in some ways. Um, my husband is into it, but he doesn't really listen to goth music. And he doesn't look gothic. I'm not saying you have to look gothic to be a goth. <laughs> I don't enjoy graveyards. False. I do enjoy graveyards. And that's just not a stereotypical... I always have. Um, even before I was a baby bat. So I think they're just really peaceful, pretty, like, you can get such stunning photography in places like that. And nature, when it takes its course, is stunning. So that is definitely false. Blood makes me queasy. False. Again, blood doesn't. I did study animal science and I had to cut up dead, defrosted animals to learn things and yeah the uh, it didn't blood did not make me queasy the smell yeah but blood no blood doesn't make me queasy um i'd sooner faint than pet a spider false i i'd love to pet a spider my husband absolutely hates them so i don't really well, he won't let me have one, and I really, really want one. And I want to call it Shelob after Lord of the Rings. But nope, he's just not having it. I don't like haunted houses. True. Um, I've had a weird experience in a house um, that was abandoned and derelict. And it was falling down, kind of, in some of the rooms. And it was scary. It was, like, really scary. So... Yeah, I don't like haunted houses. Even though they intrigue me and I want to go inside, they scare me. Unless it's a haunted house at a theme park, then I'll be on that ride five times. <laughs> I still browse Hot Topic's clearance racks. We don't have Hot Topic here, so no, I don't. I've never read Dracula. That is false. I have read Dracula. And it's a pretty good book. But I love the film better. I'm more of a film person than a book person. I think Bella Lugosi's Dead is a long and boring song. Sorry, guys. True. I think the song's good, but it is just too long and repetitive. Um, yeah, so I'd find that true. Sorry. So that is, that is all of the Darkling tag. So I hope you've enjoyed getting to know me a little bit better. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and I will try and answer them. I try to, well, what not try, I will reply to comments. So I will see you guys soon. Have a lovely evening and a good start to your week. And ta-ta for now.